What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna break down another classic riff. This is Led Zeppelin, Over the Hills and Far Away. really cool uh, techniques going on here and I'm going to show you right now. Right off the bat, this main part, you know, it sounds very folksy, Celtic kind of vibe and it's one of our favorite acoustic keys. It's the key of G major. Um, so there's a few things that are going on here that make it really cool and fun and things that you can experiment with. I use a lot of this in many different ways. And so one of the things is just the open strings. Now the key of G major and the scale of G major So all the open strings I, I mentioned there. Any open string is in the key of G major or the scale of G major. So the F sharp is not an open string. So there is that one note that is not part of the open strings, you know, that we would still need to play. So check this out. You can play the G major scale uh, utilizing the open strings. So the root's three, but O, two, three, O, two, three, O, two, four. It's the only way we get that F sharp in there. And then the open G, two, four, and then we can do the open B. Two, open B, so. One, three, and then O, two, three. Now each of those notes is the root to a chord in that key. In the main part of the song, So we also have just the movable major scale with the root on the E string. So for G major, plug my middle finger there on the root and it looks like this. So, like I said, all the open strings are part of that uh, G major scale. The one chord is G major, the five chord is D major, D7, we're playing D major. Doesn't have to be a full seven chord, it's just D major. And so, you can look at the scale. Well, that note can be the open D instead. So O, two, four, and then instead of five, that fifth fret on the D string is the open G again. So you've got a big chunk of the scale just with the open D string, two, four, and then the same thing on the G. And 
the G is the root. And so what he's doing, he's just playing around with this little open D, open G, and then second fret, fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret. And when he ended on the open G string, he then went to the G chord, the corresponding harmony to that note. He went with, and then when he went, he then hit the open D, so followed it with a D chord. Maybe I could go. So let's just look at some chords of G major. They can be in any pattern. In fact, you don't even have to start with a G major. So we're gonna just have the open D two of four. And then the same thing on the G string. Any combination we can think of. Okay, so keys of G, the chords of G major are G, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, and that's it. We won't worry about what the seventh chord is. So remember, uh, so let's try just E minors and A minors, but with that technique.
So using open strings, but also being able to visualize the scale is a great tool. And you can hear, you know, just the creativity that you can tap into when you find little, you know, sweet little spots. Always hammer on and pull offs, hammer ons, pull offs, hammer on pull offs, all add a lot of flavor as well. So mess around with the scale, but using the open strings and then also going to the chords from that key and see what you can come up with. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, riff theory, just talking about classic iconic riffs. Let me know in the comments below the riffs you'd like to see me break down. And also while you're down there, you can check the links below for free courses. I've also got a uh, you know, bunch of killer stuff down there. It will really help you out. So thank you for all that extra support. Hope to see you again.